distributor training via webinar. Uh, I love that sometimes we have the option of just having a leisurely morning at the house or from your phone somewhere. And let's get some great basics about AdvoCare. Let's tell you what I know. AdvoCare is really growing fast. And there are some of y'all brand new people who, who are hungry and need some good, basic, solid training to be able to share with your friends and family what has worked so well for you, which is going to help you generate income. So let's get right to it. All right, now with AdvoCare, we often say there are three fundamentals to do every day. Now, every day means every day that you're choosing to share AdvoCare. If you are a 4G or more of a hobby level distributor, you may not want to share AdvoCare every day. It may be twice, two days a week. And for some of us, it's five or six and an occasional mention even on a seventh day. Uh, so I want you to tailor this to you. Here's the other thing. Just like if I have 30 piano students or if I only have three, I want to do all the same things with every single student. So all of these fundamentals are going to apply to you whether you're talking to three people a, a day or three people a week. So here's what we do. Use the products. When you heard about AdvoCare, you possibly knew someone who was having great results and you may have said, oh my goodness, what are you doing? You look great. Um, or maybe you saw someone drinking a spark and you said, what is that stuff? Or someone told you they had been using products. AdvoCare is a product-driven company. Um, so we have to be very fastidious doing that and be a product of the product is what we call it. Number two, talk to people. Share your story and be a professional introducer. For the first 30 to 90 days, that's pretty much all you do because AdvoCare, as you see on number three, AdvoCare is built in teams. You will say something like, you know what, I have been thinking about you and I have found something that has helped me feel great and actually I'm earning some income. I don't know which or if both of those would be of interest to you, but I would love to share it with you. Um, and then you tell them you're going to share it with your friend uh, and connect them so that they can hear about AdvoCare um, as a group, and then the vision of AdvoCare is going to grow. Your best start is going to be 30 customers in 30 to 45 days. No matter what level of income you're looking for or level of intensity, I have never one time seen someone who didn't go for 30 customers in 30 to 45 days who didn't have a solid business start on their hands. <laughs> and then they tailored their time excuse me, going from there. So that is, is really fun. It creates a lot of excitement, a lot of product results. People are texting in, oh my goodness, I feel great. And then referrals start and everything starts rolling. So keep that in mind as well. All right, now let's go. We're going to look at that number two, talk to people first, and then we're going to talk about the product. Um, so what you're going to start with is a list. You need a list of people to help keep you organized and a list of people as you're sharing with them, you can check them off and then we'll start the follow-up follow -up process with them that we're going to talk about in a few minutes with those people. So we're going to start writing some, some names down. If it's on a legal pad, if you, if you use um, a, a uh, notes on your phone, whatever your style is, it doesn't matter. Let's just start writing down people that you know. Let's think on the product side. Can you write down 10 people you know who want to lose weight and trim up? Ten people who are tired and need some more energy, or maybe in that afternoon slump, they need some additional energy to carry them throughout the whole day. Or what about your friends? Can you think of ten who are working out, who are already using supplements, or do you think that they could really benefit from greater gains or, or um, toning in the gym with some of our AdvoCare products? And then on the business side, who are 10 people you know who are hard workers? They're maybe already working two or three jobs or a lot of overtime. And who are 10 people from either one of those lists that you would love to work with? Who would you enjoy uh, teaming up with to share AdvoCare? And what you see in front of you is um, a list that is available at parteam.com. And if you click on resources, you will scroll down to a warm market lot warm market list, and it's going to give you pages of ideas to help you remember, oh my goodness, I thought that so-and-so all the time. 
<clears throat> this is where I get my hair cut. Uh, I'm going to make sure that I have some spark with me. It is really neat how it triggers some ideas for you. Um, and that warm market list simply means there are people that we know, uh, we already have a connection with, feels warm. We do a lot of things with cold, too, because we um, strike up conversations sometimes even in the grocery line. Um, and those are just people that we don't know yet, and then we, as we get to know them, they are moving from cold to warm. And get, they get going with that, no care. All right, now let's get going on talking about the products. Um, and we have over 70 different products, and often we will even feature a product. But today I want to talk about how to have a solid start for your customer. Um, most people start with either the 24-day challenge or the herbal cleanse phase of the challenge into some other customized products. And that first 10 days is so critical that I'm going to spend the majority of my time right there. Um, because for people to have an, a great experience and good results with the herbal cleanse part of AdvoCare is going to set them up with, for a good experience or a not so good experience. And absorbing and digesting all the products to follow is absolutely critical, of course, because if the products can't get into your body and go to work, they're going to probably look at you and go, in, I don't see what you're so fired up about. I feel a little different, but nothing really remarkable. So let me give you a little bit of dense training here as far as sharing with someone right on the front end as they're getting going on their products. What you see in front of you is the 24-day challenge. The Herbal Cleanse, Omega Plex, and Spark is the first 10 days. And now let me just stop right there. And what you're going to do is when you're sharing with someone, say, you know what, I'm really excited for you. Would love for you to do this first. Uh, tell them that you do it, that you do it every 90 days. You can refer to my story if you want. In almost 15 years, I've done the Herbal Cleanse over 60 times. Absolutely love it, feel great, love knowing that the inside is clean and everything is working well, both for health now and keeping trim now and also for preventive long-term health uh, for my body. So that is very important. And the way that you share about it and your enthusiasm is really key because what you're doing is extending confidence to the person you're sharing with. Now, some people are um, having some stomach issues as they get started. So you're just going to gently go there and say, you know what, let me just talk about the bathroom area a little bit because the gut is so key to your success. Um, let me just ask you a few questions. And one of those would be, are you able to move waste from your body every day um, at least one time a day? And people, I've never had anyone who said, oh, I'm not going to tell you that. Um, we're just being respectful. It's a health matter. Um, and then we're going to find out key information as to how to start. If, if there is someone with um, IBS, diverticulitis, colitis, or some of those other digestive issues, we're not going to, in most cases, start with the herbal cleanse. Um, we are going to do a what we call a pre-cleanse first. Um, for example, IBS can swing either from constipated often to diarrhea often or vacillating between the two. Every, something's really out of balance in the gut and we want to work there and help things get calmed down and soothed before we start even with the herbal cleanse, even as gentle and uneventful as Advocare is. With someone who has been cramping or whatever some of their unpleasant symptoms are, we want to minimize that as much as possible because we're about to step them through a detox process. So. Here's the biggest key. Um, I'm going to go forward and then back. It's very important to be very responsible and respectful and to bring in your upline product mentor, your leader, to share with them so that you can hear what questions they ask, what suggestions that they give, what reassurances, how much they listen and are gathering information. Um, because this is going to help, most importantly, it's going to help your person get the best results as presently as possible. And of course, a person with great results wants to continue on the program and add products to their program, which is what our business is made of as well. So it's very important to bring in your sponsor and say, you know what, 
uh, I'm pretty new here. I love how my friend Jordan explains this. Hang on a second. I'm going to grab him and let you ask him right now so that you have great results. He is awesome anyhow. In fact, I'm going to ask him to share his story. It is great. So you're promoting and extending confidence into your leader, and then you bring him on the phone or meet together, and then you're quiet and let them him do all the work for you so that you can observe, they can get the information they need, um, and then get going. That is absolutely critical. Please, please, please uh, make sure that you're coachable here. Um, and it goes right back to Advocare is always built in teams. We're always looking away. Your customer should always start their plan with your number, your upline leader's number, and even possibly a third, another upline leader for you so that they can be encouraged, answer, ask questions from any one of you and establish in their mind that this is a team effort and team celebrations and all are going to follow. Big, big deal. Now, for those sensitive or touchy digestive tracts, sometimes we're going to start with a combination of all or some of these products that you see on the screen. Okay, so as I said here, let your leader lead because some people may need to take Digesty with Omega Plex and Sparks for three to seven days, maybe even two or three weeks, or even four weeks before they ever get to the herbal cleanse. And it's absolutely great because their success is in, well in hand in that case. Uh, probiotic Restore sometimes with Omegas and Sparks for their um, pre-cleanse cleanse, if you will, and sometimes all four products. I'm not going to go into too much depth here because it is so important for you to find someone with more experience and help that connection be established. And then when things are calm and we're checking in and making sure that they're feeling that their body is ready, then we're going to move back into the herbal cleanse. Now, if you want to have more training, and I highly suggest this, go to parteam.com, click on training, and then go to Product 101. All of these are absolutely fabulous. Specific to the uh, cleanse and some of the digestive things is a, is a whole uh, video training on digestion. And down at the bottom, one specific, even more specific to IBS or irritable bowel syndrome. Now, that's Tanya Parr. She's my sister for y'all who don't know. And you can say, hey, I want to introduce you. Um, as closely as I can to Tanya Parr, who has had amazing results digestively, and I know y'all are going to really relate to each other. She's going to give you some great ideas. And then I'm going to check back in with you because if there was something that we haven't even talked about yet that rang true with you, we will just um, customize your plan even more. So excited for you to hear this. If you are sitting with that person then, I love to do this in person. It's, it's, I think one of them is eight minutes and the other is 11 or something like that. So it's not that long, but it is such critical. And you see that person kind of relaxing like, oh, my goodness, she gets it. My stomach hurts so much. This is going to be awesome. Yes, let's do this. Um, and that is absolutely awesome. All right, now, going back then to the herbal cleanse, let me park here again. This is a 10-day system. And the first three mornings have a fiber drink. Um, tip number one, there are two kinds of fiber drinks available in two different cleanses with Advocare. One is a citrus, and the other is peaches and cream. The vast majority of the time, we're going to go with the citrus because it's a little grittier, if it's, which means it's a, more, a little more effective at targeting that mucusy crud that's built up along the lining of the colon, helping it soften and get out of the way so those nutrients then can get through that lining of the colon into the bloodstream and go to work. So do not be afraid of the grit. Um, it's all about uh, mixing it in some water or maybe some pulp-free orange juice so that with the fiber packet, then it's kind of like drinking pulpy orange juice, high pulp orange juice, maybe in some Diet V8 Splash. Stir drink, always follow with a big glass of water. That is really key. I almost wish that we had a big pitcher of water right here as far as part of the 24-day challenge and even the most on that cleanse phase. Um, now, another tip for everyone who is brand new to Advocare on their very first cleanse ever, uh, we recommend them doing day one only a half a packet of fiber. No big deal. We just kind of get a read and see what, how your body processes it. 
Uh, we possibly, most likely can move to a full packet the next day. Every now and then it may slow you down just a touch, and so we're going to introduce easily and let it get to work. As if you're calm and assured and confident, they're going to be calm and assured and confident. So that is a very important tip also. The peaches and cream fiber, um, some people may just choose that. It is certainly an option. Um, also another tip is that both fiber drinks can be purchased as standalone boxes. And the peaches and cream fiber is safe for nursing and pregnant women and for uh, younger ages than the citrus. So that is a great option too um, in those cases. But in the most cases, we're going to go with the citrus. Um, all right, now let's move over to the MNS, the max phase. We'll continue with our spark. We have our choice of three different formulations and then the meal replacement shakes, which is critical for getting protein in, usually in the morning. Um, but for the purpose of this training, I want to park more on the MNS part. Um, we suggest that for um, almost everyone's first 24-day challenge, Coming out of the cleanse phase with a super clean system, body absorbing, that we start with the MNS Max 3. It has energy there. It has appetite control in there, broad-based overall nutrition, tons and tons of ingredients on a clean system. It's going to start filling in those holes, those gaps of our Swiss cheese shelves. This is the by far the, high, the biggest seller and the biggest favorite in AdvoCare. So this, we believe, is the best start for someone. And then if they are still looking for additional energy, you would recommend that they could try the Max E and see if they like it better. Or they may love how they feel on Max 3, and they could uh, find additional energy through additional Spark or adding V16 or Cappuccino or Biocharge. Um, to, to help them. In fact, that is my case. Energy was what I was looking for. You would think that the e-box would be my absolute favorite. Um, absolute favorite, but I actually like the Max 3 with two sparks a day. Um, and, and I also take biocharge for the energy and then also the joint and overall um, repair benefit too. So uh, again, this is a great time to bring your leader in and say, okay, as we're getting going, we're going to start on the Max 3, maybe day 17, 18, and yeah, I feel good, but you know what? I still keep thinking about that E thing you told me about. Or if they want more appetite control, same thing. They could move to Max C for their next box. Or, and if they don't prefer the way they feel overall, and it's not their favorite, then we can address appetite with Max 3 plus Cappuccino or Max 3 plus Leptoline. And there's other options like that. Again, you just getting your, your uh, leader on the phone, and they're, and they're talking and chatting and going, you know, celebrating, what, you've already lost four pounds and 16, and this is incredible. Um, you're starting a, a neat business relationship and connection there that will just continue to flow, helping them then toward the end of their 24-day challenge um, customize more specifically for their results ongoing from day 25 and beyond. And of course, that also is setting them up for continued product success and you for continued product sales and most likely referrals. And Advocare is um, your referrals and business builders are going to come the vast majority of the time out of happy product users. So I hope that you find that helpful um, as you are getting going. Just a brief mention of some of our companion products that some people a lot of people are actually adding right with their challenge to make it a trim plus or a trim plus plus challenge. I love to call them gas pedals. That kind of says it all. Thermo Plus is going to help your body burn more calories, another additional um, energy source, helps your body release the fat, and then Catalyst comes along like Pac-Man and eats it. So Catalyst is like a potato peeler. Uh, to your body is going to strip away the fat, but it's going to keep the muscle. I heard someone call it muscle glue. Keep the muscle, lose the fat, lose inches faster. 24, can you 24 workout series, amazing. If you haven't tried it, the best way you can talk about it is to experience it yourself. And then another one that's not on this slide is um, an additional box of the replacement shakes starting out on day one of their cleanse to get that protein going in the morning and that metabolic furnace fired up and rocking. 
All right, let's move forward. All right, now, for relationships, now I'm going to tie this in to the products a little with a little more strength. Um, I'm going to assume that anytime you're getting into a conversation and finding out what someone has wanted, um, that you are introducing AdvoCare's relationships as retail customer, wholesale customer, distributor, or that hobbyist level, or 4G funding level, or business advisor. <clears throat> now, getting someone started on a 24-day challenge, um, your language can be very confident in helping someone steer toward the wholesale option. And here's what I know. If, some, if the 24-day um, challenge is $190.25 and they become a wholesale customer, and they, uh, after they get their $79 kit, they're saving 38 bucks off the top. Okay, so that is a big win for them. Uh, again, bring someone in and say, hey, Jordan, will you also tell them how they can save money right up front? And then he may say something, oh, this is really awesome. Uh, AdvoCare offers a no-strings-attached wholesale membership. Uh, no minimums, no auto ship, no nothing. You just get to, for a yearly fee, a lot like a Sam's or Costco membership, purchase your products at a discount, go into the AdvoCare product store and put as much or little as you want in your cart, as many times as you want to for a full year. It is really awesome. I, you know, that, that's a great way to start. What do you think? And then you're just uh, being a little more assumptive because this is a great way for them to save some money. That is a win-win, y'all, because uh, a happy customer often becomes a, ha a happy customer for life. And for you to help them guard their hard-earned dollars, you're caring for them. And when they enroll under your distributor number, they are permanently on your team. So you have secured that person. Um, so you know, if they want to retail that first order, maybe the second. But if it's ongoing, you got to make sure that you're connecting with your leader. Uh, because I'll tell you, there's someone on our team right now who did not want to enroll under the person who retailed to them for over six months because there were a lot of dollars that could have been saved and that was not appreciated. So be sensitive there and just be caring. All right, now we're going to be following up. This is one of our hallmarks in AdvoCare. If you are, if you are, um, if your home-based business has a kitchen product or um, a candle or something like that, you don't have to call and say, "Hey, is your is your candle burning well?" Perhaps, although I'm sure there is some room for checking and seeing about customer satisfaction. But the AdvoCare is essential because this is a health product that enters your your body. Three things that are are going to happen. One, you're going to develop a relationship. Uh, I heard Suzanne Carpenter, a nine-star emerald, a uh, high uh, uh, business leader in AdvoCare, saying in that 24 days on their challenge, that is your best opportunity to develop a relationship, relationship and introduce and cast vision about the business of AdvoCare as you're checking in with them, telling them about the deeper discounts, um, celebrating that other people are asking them what's going on and how that they can share the product with them and so forth. Two, of course, making suggestions as necessary for results. And three, as I just mentioned, casting vision for the business side. AdvoCare is a retail into the recruitment business. Most business builders begin as happy product customers. All right, now what you have before you is a form that I absolutely love. It's follow-up record. Um, you can find this at parteam.com, same website, and find resources. Scroll down, it'll say follow-up form. You can print off a bunch of these. If you're going for 30 customers, print off 30 or print off 50. Um, and what you're going to do with each person is you're going to have a way to put their name, address, all their information, their kids' names, what they do for a living, just some things that you can chat about and check in with them. And, um, and then also you can ask them some of these questions, getting them started. Um, and here, I love this part, the follow-up log. They call them, left them a message, whatever it was, doing great, have already lost four pounds. Um, uh, not feeling like they're moving waste properly. We connected with Jordan. Everything's good. They're going to increase their water intake and add additional restore or whatever. It just gives you an ongoing thing. This is critical. Think about a doctor. I was at the chiropractor just a few days ago, and as he and, and my husband were chatting, he was writing in our chart, like the, like um, in Ken's chart, like they always do at the end, so that um, information is always up to date, and just start doing it. In, 
until you get in the habit. You may forget a little bit at first because it's a new thing, but give yourself some time to mess up and, and then remember, oh shoot, I forgot to write that down, and it will just become a part of your routine that will help you have amazing results. This you can put in a, um, there are dividers that come 1 through 31. You can find it at, at an office supply store. That would mean one for even the longest months, one divider. And say I have a person named Patty, actually, who is starting today on May 17th. So I put her form in yesterday, and I talked to her. She's starting today. So I moved her form from the 16th to the 17th. I'm going to check on her in a couple hours and see how her first fiber packet went and go through her whole program because she was at work yesterday. And then um, I'm going to move her sheet from today's date, the 17th, to day three, uh, the 19th, because we always follow up days one, three, seven, and 10, and then ongoing, and sometimes more than that, depending on what their starting situation is. I absolutely love this. This is very, 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 very smart. Now, along with that, I have my friend Lainey on here, who always has these really amazing creative ideas. And Lainey, I know that you um, schedule some of these things electronically. Can you tell us a couple ideas as well as far as keeping up with remembering, my gosh, you got 10, 15, 20, 25 people. How are you going to remember who's doing what? What, what are some things that you like to do? Yeah, thanks, Tammy. I'd be happy um, to talk to you guys about that today. Um, this is some, these are some pictures of kind of what I do. Really more um, the sticky notes, I just keep them handy in my car and everywhere I am. Just so that if something comes up, if I run into somebody or somebody sends me a text and says, hey, I can't talk now, but I have a question, and I tell them, oh, I'll call you at 3, I want to make sure I call them at 3. Um, I don't want to call them at 5 and say, oh, I'm so sorry, I forgot about you. So I write it on my sticky note until I have time to put it in my phone, because I know y'all are probably like me. I have my phone with me all the time. So if I'm running into the grocery store and running out, I don't forget about that. And the next time I get home, I can, or in my car or wherever, I can put all their information in. This particular one is from a Spark sample for a person that I didn't have their contact information. So I needed to put that in. And then I just set an alert on my phone. Normally 15 minutes, if it's going to be a quick call, normally 15 minutes before and then five minutes before, just so I can make sure I have time to get little dips and taken care of and in a quiet place so I can um, give them my undivided attention. But that way, I use a follow-up record religiously, and I love that form. Um, it's absolutely awesome. But what I found was I wasn't, I wasn't making all those calls at the same time every day. If I could make them all at 8 o'clock in the morning, it would be great. But since they're all spaced out during the day, this is kind of how I remind myself, okay, you've got 15 minutes to get the child quiet and get the follow-up record and flip to that person's page to see what you're talking to them about. Um, and that's been really, really helpful for me. And you'll see there's a blank space. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe too small. But at a, the top half of the sticky note is blank. Um, just the other day when I was at Stanford, I was talking to a lot of the students during the exams, and I talked to a girl she was going to Thailand for a mission trip for a month, and she was really worried about having the energy to keep up and the focus to do what she was going there to do. Um, told me what her major was and kind of what her purpose for going to Thailand was. So I just jotted down a couple of notes. So when I got home to my follow-up binder, I could put all that in under those occupation, recreation, under those things. So you still always want to get those to make sure that you're building that relationship from the beginning. But this is a great way that I found when I'm on the go um, that I still have time to make sure I don't forget the important things for that person. Well, I think that's about I it. Love that. Yeah. So you kind of integrate paper pencil until you can get it into your phone. And those who didn't even want to use a, an electronic, we can just do that into our follow-up form. I love the sticky note idea. That is awesome. Very cool. Now, Elaine, let me ask you, did it take you a little while to get into the habit of every day? Or working in a doctor's office, did that come a little more naturally to you, do you think? Um, well, this system, for whatever reason, it took me um, a long time to think of it. <laughs> so um, what I had found was a lot of times I would just write 
kind of on my ongoing to-do list for the day, I would write the person's name and the time and all that. And unfortunately, a lot of times I wouldn't be looking at that paper close enough to the appointment time to remember it. So that's why I just kind of, unfortunately, trial and error, um, I figured out that I needed more of an alarm almost. Um, so that's why I started setting the alarm for that. And I do the same thing for three-way calls. This actually calls and such a three-way call. I've always put an alert in my phone um, for the same reason. But, um, yeah, it took me a really long time to find a system that worked. Um, the follow-up record was perfect for reminding myself, like at a doctor's office, of that relationship and what we talked about last time, that this was more helpful for me from a scheduling standpoint to make sure I didn't overlook anything. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Really good. And, you know, I when I started using the alerts, um, that helped me a ton. And I used the 15 minute and five. That spacing really works for me. So y'all tweak this to your life. And thank you, for Lainey, for sharing that because I have a feeling you're going to help some people save a lot of time um, because you've actually developed this great, great system. And it's awesome. And this is a, such a practical thing that you use every day, so that's awesome. Now let me move on really quickly. Um, I have been planning to kind of skim through this because, again, most of your follow-up in the first 30 days or so is going to be on the phone with your upline sponsor, your leader. Um, but just to kind of as you're going, because you're in development and then the goal is that you're going to be in the leader position with your brand new person who right now is getting great results and they're wanting to tell their friend, then they're going to bring you in as the leader. The advocate is not about having a few leaders doing all the work or being the, you know, touted as the leaders at all. It's to um, apprentice and get you trained quickly and on your feet and leading the next person, helping them get trained and then leading the next person so that as your team fills out three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten levels down from you, people are handling three-way calls. A lot of them you never even know about um, because that is empowering and helping people have ownership in their very own business, which is what Avatar is. I love, love, love that about our company. Um, so what are we going to do? Set the expectation. I'm going to call and check on you. I cannot wait to hear how you're feeling. Um, we may tweak a little bit. We'll know exactly because your body is going to help us know, oh, yeah, this is awesome. Or, you know, I might need a little bit of this. It's really going to be interesting. It's actually fascinating. I love doing this. And then you know that you're going to contact, as I said earlier, first, third, seventh, and tenth days ongoing and sometimes more, depending on what, how their body, what their body's starting point is. When you're following up, your posture and your attitude when you're on the phone is, okay, girl, tell me how it's going. I can't wait to hear. Of course you're assuming it's going well. Well, Are we going to have a little tweak? Yes. Are somebody going to have forgotten to take this stuff or, oh, my goodness, I went on a trip and forgot to take everything. I haven't done anything in four days or I totally, uh, I've only had this one time, but I totally mixed up the herbal cleanse. I did everything backwards. What do I do? We're going to work through that. And you can laugh and say, you know what, this is, it kind of, you're getting into this wellness habit. We can figure this out. This will be no problem. Then you're going to ask questions. How did they take their products? Tell me what you did today. Don't say, did you take everything correctly? Do they go, oh, yeah. But say, okay, walk me through your day. How did you take everything? And some of these other questions. And then as you're going through the process and they're getting results, um, I actually do not use the word, hey, who do you know, of course. Um, a lot of times they're saying, like there was a, a I don't know, a, a woman in her 20s saying, I've lost 10 pounds just on the cleanse. Everybody's asking me what I'm doing. That is a great cue and clue for you to, to share your excitement for their interest and say, you know what, we can talk to them and they can jump in with you and have get some great results going. Um, you can show them what you're doing, and that could help them have customers. That can help pay for their products which again benefits you. So let that natural flow, be listening and caring, meet them where they are. Use your sense and your personality there. Um, how to follow up. Um, I'm going to skip and just go here to five reasons that products don't work. Um, and you can just jot these down. And for more discussion, you can call me or your leader um, after the training. Uh, number one, they're not being taken correctly. Number two, not being taken long enough. Number three, if they're not moving ways to their system every day, at least once a day, we've got to work there. Number four, not hydrated. 
And number five, if there's an ongoing medical issue, they are most likely going to have great results. They just probably need to set their mind. I always say instead of 24 days, let's think 90 because you have meds that you're working with and your body is, is um, starting at a different point. And that just gives them confidence. They get it. They know what they're dealing with. And for you to know that and just to give them that knowledge, I've never had anybody that they didn't work fine with that. So um, <clears throat> that is absolutely great. Now, let's move on. How are you going to track your numbers as you're getting started? You're feeling great talking to people. Now what? I am fired up to introduce Jordan Seconder here. And Jordan is great at this. He's a businessman, has a successful business, and he's doing Advocare, having great product, as you can see, and business results. Uh, and this has come so natural, he's always on top of, uh, we're at this amount of here, and this needs to happen, and we need this. So, Jordan, I cannot wait and get my, I have my journal out ready to take some notes so you can help, um, help some of our new people, especially, and actually our veterans, too, think in the way that you do, which I love. Take it away. Thank you. Thanks so much for um, having me on. Um, first of all, for people that are at the distributor level, maybe as a hobby level, doing it pretty casually, the things you're paying attention to, of course, is retailing, just spreading the message to people, new prospects. There is no limit. You want as many as you can, obviously, because you want people to feel like you. Um, and you're looking to get a total of $3,000 PGV, personal group volume, over one, two, or three pay periods so that you can reach the, the deepest discount, the 40% which gets you to the advisor level. Um, so, and, and like Tammy said earlier, make sure that as you are reselling people, you are giving them the four options of engaging with Advocare. Because some of those people will want to get the wholesale discount like you do, or maybe even interest in the business. And all of their volume, since they are on your team, will help you reach your $3,000 goal to get to that deepest discount. So for this level, there is no discount. Just Focus on moving, moving products, massive retail, and just spreading the message of Advocare. Now, once you are at the 40% advisor level and you are a what we consider business builder, we focus on three numbers, um, five, 1,000, and 100. When it comes to five, we're talking about retail sales. You have to have a minimum of five retail sales in order to earn what we call overrides in Advocare. Um, again, a minimum of five. You're trying to spread the message as much as possible. Massive retail. Introducing it every way. Some people are not going to qualify as a retail sale because they're going to go wholesale. But a lot of people will, you know, let me start here. Let me just try SPAR. And they will purchase at retail. So you're constantly filling the pipeline with new people. And you will have some recurring customers that just want to stay at the retail level. So you're always getting at least five retail sales each pay period then you're also tracking your PGV, which consists of your product purchases for yourself and your family, your retail customers count towards that, and then also anyone under you who's a distributor, their volume also counts towards your PGV. So if you are plugging in properly and teaching your distributor to plug in properly, that, that will take care of itself. So you will pass that $1,000 threshold, which again qualifies you for the full override which is a 7% commission um, percentage off of your organizational volume from, from advisors that are in your team. Yeah, here's a cheat sheet that you can follow. I'm certainly not going to go down every single line, but you can use this as a gauge to see where you're at override-wise because once you reach certain, reach certain thresholds with your override amount, then the leadership bonuses are added to that. For example, when you have $100 override, then you get your first 3% bonus at the silver level. And that moves all the way down, as you can see. Um, and overrides, again, are from anyone anyone in your team at the advisor level. Since there is no gap in their discount at 40% in yours, that's why you earn the override. That's how you can really, really start to get the exponential growth in your business as well. Um, let's see. I think I think the only thing I would like to add to that, as far as tracking everything, the way the way that this will just take care of itself, so to speak, is doing everything Tammy said, but just constantly plugging in new retail, enrolling new distributors, getting their people started, 
but that the way to stick with that and really grow is to constantly plug into the success system, which I know Ashley is here to hit on next. Yes, and uh, actually, I, Ashley, I'm not sure if Ashley's. I want to jump. Okay, great. We're going to go there in a second, but Jordan, thank you. That was absolutely awesome. Um, and if you can hear the ease, he just keeps it straight, and he, you know, with the smartphones and all that stuff, you can take a look at all of this. Um, for me, when I, because you're starting to look on that business side and you're talking to each person, um, what helped me get that better was thinking about Chick-fil-A. When I walk in and make my order, someone is taking care of me. What kind of dressing do you want? Uh, you know, can I help you with anything else? The specifics there, um, we get to do both. We get to take care of the specifics with a person, and then we're also the business builder. Chick Fil A. We probably don't see them. I mean, we don't see them in their corporate meetings around the table, tracking the numbers, because all of the customers, just like me, all together, help them have the huge profits that make them a corporate giant. As a care, we are starting to do both of those. You're looking on the business side, helping your people who are sharing products know how to do that, and training them and also helping your individual customers feel great, make sure they're drinking enough water. So it's really interesting. It's really fun. Um, and it takes um, a learning curve to kind of get the flow of being able to do a both and kind of thing. Um, and Jordan, you are great at that. And, um, and he is a leader here. Ashley is a leader here. So as you're having questions going, how the heck do I keep up with that? Say, hey, no worries. Get on the phone with your leader, and they'll coach you right through. Speaking of coaching, now Ashley, golly girl, um, you are a master at the success system. Um, so just tell us all about it. Now I'm thinking, Ashley, you don't have the screen in front of you, is that right? Because y'all had some storms and stuff. Yes, I actually. The uh, can you hear me okay? Yes, very good. Okay, great. Um, the, uh, our internet guy is here right now trying to get my internet up and running. Um, so if you can just tell me what slide we're looking at, I can go from there. Okay, I will. And there are three that I'm so excited for you to share about right now. We are looking at you. You're before and after. That's 3 February. <laughs> um, day one, day 24, 34 pounds down. And I think it's even more now, isn't it? You told me the other day. 38. Yes, ma'am. 38 pounds. Um, 38 pounds. <laughs> well, awesome. And feeling great and strong. Um, I saw a picture of you working out on the sidewalk in front of your house with your sweet little Brooklyn in her pack and play. And y'all, that's how we do it here. We are flexible and we can build a business and get fit and handle all of that and have fun. So that's really awesome. So talk to us a little bit about the success system. I'm going to move to the next slide, which is the picture of the success system itself, our entry point being the one-on-one -on -one and then moving around. So yeah. go for it. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I love how you said this is, you know, what we do in we're, the big thing is we do it for our families. Um, you will probably hear mine chiming in in the background because it's a Saturday morning and, you know, we're loving life and getting some training and I just love it. Um, so, yeah, the success system is the key to um, your success in atmosphere and working your business. Um, and if you look at the very top of it, you will see one-on-one, -on -one, and that is kind of what I like to refer to as the funnel of the success system. It's kind of where you're pouring everybody into and starting with them in. Um, yeah, there we go. So that might be, you know, talking with your best friend or your mom or your kid's daycare teacher, whatever it is. It's your first, um, your first interaction with somebody. Um, and so for me, I, I tell everybody I know about Adversary, and I've always got my information with me. I've always got Spark in my car. <laughs> um, and so a lot of times my one-on-one -on -one is when I'm first sharing Spark with somebody. Um, so I mix it up. I tell them a little bit about it and let them, you know, I always let them feel the product because, you know, that is what, that is what is going to really I don't mean this to be corny, but it's going to spark her interest. Spark is going to spark their interest because Spark is such an awesome, awesome gateway into Advocare as a whole. And so I always do follow up with people because as you see there in the middle, the fortune is in the follow up. You want to make sure that you're always checking back in with people 
um, so that they feel like they're cared for. And this is your business. So if you're not making that call, nobody's making that call. So normally, I will kind of follow up with them later on in that day if I've shared Spark with them and just kind of see how they liked it. Um, and then, as you can see, it goes into that two-on-one or a three-way call. So a lot of times, I will, you know, call the person and be like, you know, how did you like the Spark? Um, did it give you great energy? How are you feeling? And I always lead with a positive tone because then it's kind of setting the tone for the rest of your conversation. Um, and so then we'll talk a little bit, and I'll be like, you know, I'm so glad you liked it. And, you know, whenever my friend Tammy or my friend Lainey, whoever your leaders are, I always start to kind of promote them a little bit and tell them, you know, important thing to me in helping me learn more about Advent Care. And I'll say something like, you know, I would love for you to meet them. Hold on just one second. I'm just going to grab them so that we can, I would love for them to hear how you liked it too. And that's a good transition into getting your prospects on the phone with your upline. Because you never want to set it up where you're like, okay, well, you know, I, I have a leader and a mentor in this business, and I would just love for you to talk to them. And I'm going to go ahead and do a three-way call now. And you, you don't want to, like, scare them and set it up to be a big deal. You just want to make it part of your normalization. So bringing them in um, at that point is a great, big, great spot to take advantage of. Um, and it's, you know, for me, I'm never trying, don't feel like you're trapping somebody on the phone with your leader because that's not what you're doing. If you are truly working your advocate business passionately because you care for other people, all you're doing is helping them further along in their journey. So for me, I genuinely know that when I put them on the phone with my leader, that I'm going to be giving them the best that I can. And that's all you want to do is you want to give everybody the best impression of Advent here from the get-go. You want to set them up to succeed. And by doing that, you're also kind of showing them how we do it here. So you're <laughs> modeling the success system for your prospects. Um, and a lot of times, so I'm going to look at the next one here, Mixer. That might be where your one-on-one -on -one starts is in a mixer. It's all related. Um, mixers are really, really great. They're a great use of time because it can be a lot of people um, in the room together. So instead of you know 20 minutes with this person, 20 minutes with that person, which don't get me wrong, we love that. But this is a great way for a lot of people to feel your impact at one time. Um, Tina, do you want me to go more into mixers, or can I keep going into the, the events here? Uh, yeah, actually take a few minutes there, because we're great on time, and this is awesome. So, okay. yeah, go for it. Awesome. So, um, yeah, so I'll talk a little bit about mixers. I, I love mixers because you are in front of the person. I do like to tell everybody on my team that our phone is our biggest asset in our business. Not just texting, not just Facebook messaging. Yes, those are impactful, but picking up the phone for people to hear your voice has so much more power to it, and it has so much more of a personal and personal touch. But that doesn't compare to being in front of somebody face to face. So mixers are a great way to see how people are responding, um, and share your story, and share your pictures, and show them products, and let them sample in a group setting. So. You know, in a mixer, which is probably nothing more than about 45 minutes um, max, and we just present basically as a whole. Um, we talk about the doctors in our scientific and medical advisory board, why our products are so great. Um, I always love that I can talk about, oh, excuse me, Brooklyn, there's my baby on my hip. Um, I, I can always talk about, you know, I don't have to know every little ingredient, every little detail um, about every single product because that's what our doctors and our sign med board are for. Um, and I know that all of our products are the best of the best. So I don't have to worry about it. Um, so we talk about that a little bit. Uh, we always, always, always um, share Spark at Mixer. And when people walk in the door, I've always got Spark mixed up. And I hand it to them as they come in and I say, here you go. I don't say, you know, would you like to try a spark? I just hand it to them and I say, here you go. Um, and a lot of times I always have extra water on hand too. For me personally, I just like to give people um, a, a water bottle with 
with their spark because I, I don't know, it's just a personal thing. And that's what it is. It's all about your personal touch. A mixer is what you make it. Um, and as long as you stay within, you know, the guidelines, you're going to succeed there. Um, and for me, I share my story in pictures with everybody. And we just kind of go through a brief overview of just some of the products. I always touch on the 24-day challenge because that's where a lot of people get started. Um, and then I'll talk about our companion products. And then I'll just do light touches, maybe on our performance elite line. Um, but I don't explain every single thing in detail because that's too much information. You don't want to overwhelm people. And um, give people too many decisions, no decision can, or too many choices, no decision can be made. So we don't want to do that. Really, that movie is playing. Sorry. <laughs> um, so, you know, and then I'll, I'll wrap it up, and I will just always thank people for coming. And, you know, I'm, I'm always respectful of people's time. And when I'm closing up the meeting, I always tell people, you know, I, I go over the four relationships that we have here, um, your, your retail, your wholesale, your hobbyist, and then your business builder. And then from there, it, it's, yeah. it's time to sit down with the individuals and just kind of talk through what's right for them. So it's a great use of your time and a great way um, to get in front of all of um, Now, what I loved when I was first getting started was that don't feel like you're on your own doing these mixers. In fact, it's the opposite. We encourage you to get with your leader and have them come in and present with you and for you and promote you but they will actually, you know, kind of be the special guest in the beginning to help coach you and teach you. And you'll just learn from their example. And again, that's casting that to your team that, hey, this is what we do here. You're not on your own. We work in teams. And that was successful. When you, you know, when you plug into your leadership and use your coaches, we are here to help you succeed and coach you to the point where when you have people signing up, you're then that coach, and you're that leader. It's really, really cool. I love that part about Ads with here. Um, so then I always, at the end of the mixer, I like to talk about um, the next large event that I have, whether that be like a local training um, with, you know, your larger group leaders. I know up here in North Carolina, sometimes we go down to Charlotte to um, see the light gibbs down there. Um, it's just a a great way for people to see Advocare on a larger scale. Um, it's more of that vision casting, uh, if you will. And it's honestly, it, it just adds, it adds more fire to the fire, more fuel to it. Um, and what I'm so excited about promoting um, this time of year especially is successful. If you want your business to boom, you need to be talking about successful. It is the event of the year where all of, you know, all of the adversary distributors plug into. Um, it's in Texas, and it's an intense training. We have the doctors. We have endorsers. Everybody is there. And it's, it is like the advocate party, <laughs> if you will. Um, and it's the best training from the best people in this company. Um, all the leaders, like I said, the doctors, everybody. Successful is huge, 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 huge. I can't stress that enough. Um, and so you're always, like I said, you're always promoting that. And here's the thing. You may, you don't want to overwhelm people with information, like I said, but when the timing is right, if you don't know when that timing is, get with your leader. We can help coach you through that. But you never want to hold things back from people. My big thing is I always want to make sure I'm presenting everything that I can present to somebody and then it's their choice to make whatever decision is best for them. But I never want to hold anybody back because the last thing I would want is for somebody a couple years down the line to say, Ashley, why didn't you tell me about this? For me, that's like my worst nightmare because I care so much about helping others that I want to make sure I'm always giving them what they need. Um, so that's kind of, you know, the overview of that there. Um, Tammy, do you have the centerpiece slide? Yeah, there you go. Okay, great. I love, love, love this because think of the success system as the centerpiece to your business. When you're sitting down, you know, for a family dinner or 
at Thanksgiving with everybody and you're gathering around that table and you're bringing everybody together, this is the centerpiece, okay? This is what is going to make your business go round. Again, I cannot stress that enough. I've heard it from many, many leaders. The success system is not called the success system. It's called the success system. It's proven. It works. And if you get with your leader and stick within this success system, you will see success here. Um, I also wanted to touch on, you know, like I said, some people you might be meeting them for the first time at a mixer. It's not like you have to go specifically in order, one, two, three, four, five. I have a girl, one of my best friends, Jessica Burris. She, I met her through another distributor. It was actually, I think our first conversation was I came in at that three-way spot. And then that very next day, we were at a large event together. So it's not like you have to go boom, boom, boom right through it. Sometimes you don't have to go through every level. But, you know, it's, as long as you can stay plugged in at some point throughout that success system, you're, you're going to have success here. So I think that's pretty much all I got there, Tammy. That's <laughs> awesome. You can, y'all, you can build on your business on what you have heard from Jordan and Ashley just that so far. And then Lainey's going to talk to us next. Absolutely awesome. You know, I was thinking just to add a little bit, Ashley, doing as many three-way calls as I and Lainey have done with you, and now you're doing tons of them. A lot of them I don't even know about. Oh, yeah, I have these, I, I've got to jump off and have a three-way call in a minute. You have assumed that leader position, and you're also connecting people up. So, y'all, that's a great tip right there. It's a both and situation ongoing. Um, but you did not come to the success system as from, through a position of weakness. I never sense that, well, I just don't want to get you starting wrong, so let me just ask Lainey what she thinks we should do. But instead, it was complete confidence, and there was a security that was is so strong that you could include the next person. Oh, man, you're going to feel awesome. We're going to make sure you're getting the best results first. Let me bring another rock star on. And we're going to help you get started with a great start from the get-go. Um, so I really appreciate that about you, y'all. You're hearing her voice and her strength, her passion, and her true care for people. Um, if you care enough to make sure that you're gathering information and you don't have to be the wheelhouse on everything, uh, it's going to flow. And that's why there's more than 75 people on Ashley's team since she's gotten started just in January a few months ago. She's a silver leader, has two people who have already done rookie bonuses because she is duplicating that and now teaching her team to duplicate that. Uh, I know that this Jessica that you spoke of has already had um, two mixtures all by herself, talking to people on her own. So it's that apprenticeship for a time. She'll keep connecting people to Ashley, but now she's already moving into the leader on the phone. But when you've heard Ashley or Lainey or myself, talk that many times, all of that training becomes a part of your repertoire to work from. It is genius, y'all. It is just genius. All right, now, and Sam, let's move on. Thank you. Yeah, yes. Yeah, come on. I forgot one key point that I'm so sorry. Um, I I always like to tell people, it's, I always can, I still, like Jamie said, I, I'm at the silver pin level, which is kind of the beginning of the beginning of the beginning <laughs> here in Adversaire, but I'm still connecting people to Sammy and Lainey. I may know, you know, I may know what to say, but that's not the point. I like to bring in that third-party credibility. So it's not that we, it's not that we don't know how to help people. We just want to make sure that we are providing that third-party credibility, and that's why I love that. You know, even as a leader, I still am the one that's plugging into my leaders for my prospects. So. Sorry, I didn't want to leave absolutely. that off. Yeah, absolutely. That is absolutely key, and I do the same thing. And if you just have a thought of, well, she just said it's not that we know, but I really don't know, it doesn't matter. You don't know at first. Most, I mean, Ashley knows a lot more now than she did at the first of January, um, and she's a quick study. And if you don't know a whole lot, you may not have as much time to invest in the training part. It does not matter. The goal is to connect to third-party credibility and your leadership through three-way calls, two-on-ones, mixers, large events, and successful no matter what. Now, let me also, a little on the personal growth side, if you are struggling with the confidence and you are feeling like, I can't do it, so I have to have help, I want you to read up on, get with me, I can give you some suggestions. I have two shelves full of good books that are going to help you 
unpack all the unbelief in yourself that someone may have dumped on you. Uh, maybe a dump truck load of unbelief has been poured on you. It has nothing to do with the success system. And I want to help you unwind that um, so that you will be, be gaining in confidence as your skill grows and connecting, and then once you're super confident and, and very skilled like Ashley and Jordan and Lainey and you know, the leaders here, you're still going to be connecting. It's, it's, it is, a, it is a, um, a training unto itself regardless of where you are internally, but we want you to get stronger because we know that every single person um, has great beauty and strength and untapped potential, um, and everyone should enjoy being confident about who they are and their skills. So it's a both and. So again, thank you, Ashley. And now let's turn to, you heard her referring to Lainey. Uh, Lainey told her friend Emily, who's best friends with Ashley, and that's how this all got started in this crazy business of Advocare of referring. Uh, and you see on the screen, Lainey Stidham, amazing product results. Why don't you just drop 63 pounds? Now she and uh, her husband, Justin, are expecting their second child beautiful pregnancy. She was just telling us the other day of how much better she feels and how she can tell the differences in her body even in another preg pregnancy. Awesome. Now Lainey is awesome at sharing some tips as far as getting organized, getting down to the pra practical matters. How do you prepare for your day? How do you set goals? And Lainey has a flair and style. Um, we love to see her posts because they're pretty and they're convenient and they're simple, so we can all um, jump on those. So, Lainey, why don't you get us started with um, some of those getting stuff together on your way out the door to work and stuff like that, getting your stuff ready to go. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm excited to talk about this because um, a lot of that you guys may not know about me, I'm a former teacher. Um, and a former wedding planner. So I, um, I love planning and I love teaching. So these, these organizational things are right up my alley. Um, but Ashley talked about how she always has um, spark in her car. And I do too. And one of the biggest things that has been a difference for me is just always being prepared. Um, and so this is kind of the best way that I thought to be prepared. You see the sticky notes I talked about before. I just have those in a little um, gallon Ziploc bag, um, and they're in the cooler, so that way everything stays cold, but all of the packets and everything stay dry, so, um, so that's always good. And then I keep a pen in there, too, because nothing's worse than being out somewhere where I can't find a pen. Um, so, and then I also keep a couple of unopened boxes of spark, if you see that in there. That's just um, so that if on the spot someone says, oh my gosh, this is exactly what I've been looking for. I can go ahead and retail that, and then when I follow up with them, talk to them more about a bigger picture, or even just on the spot where I have Impact Magazine, all of that, um, all of that there. And I've taken so many notes between Ashley and Jordan, and it all ties in together. And the biggest thing for me before I came to be at the care full time from home, um, organization was something that I felt like was really getting in the way because I didn't want to have to start over every day, um, every night and every morning to start over with the organization. So this has worked really well for me um, to be able to just at a quick glance, okay, I need to refill some spark, refill a couple of water bottles, and then be on my way. Um, so this works awesome, especially as a part-time thing. There's about eight water bottles in there. And then um, as the summer has gotten on and the sampling of Spark has picked up, um, we actually upgraded to a bigger cooler. But wherever you are, this can all be just based on your goals and what time that you set, um, set aside based on your goals to grow your business. Um, but these are all just some good things to have handy so that as you go in your life, you can fit AdvoCare in um, as opportunities come up, even if you're not necessarily um, going out looking for them. That happens to us all the time. Um, I know just two days ago we were going to car dealerships and afterwards we went to dinner and we ended up sharing our story and Spark and a little bit about Advocate with six different people when that was technically a non-Advocate day for us because we had a lot of family stuff we had to take care of. So just always being prepared and always being open to look into those opportunities um, when they present themselves, if you can. So um, that's pretty much how I organize everything in the car. And then 
Um, after that, I'm not sure what the next slide is. Um, I'm having an issue with my meeting for some reason. Oh, um, pay period goals. This, like I had said before, um, this kind of is what we do Wednesday after a pay period closes is sometimes a slower day. It doesn't have to be, but the first thing we always do is reevaluate our goals and read our whiteboard. Um, one of the things that we make sure that we always do is we have this written out in this form, and this is what works for us. It may not work for everybody, but um, when we're sampling people or getting referrals or whatever the case may be, we like to write thank you notes just because we are, um, we feel like that's a gift of ours, so we like to do that. And then some people like to include samples. You don't have to do that. Um, that's just something that I'll do if someone says, oh, you know, I wish I had gotten cappuccino to try, or I couldn't decide between grape and cherry, so I got cherry. I might send them a grape so they can try it or whatever. Um, but that's something that's been a gradual thing. That's something that's been a gradual thing. Hold on one second. Can you see over there? I would like for you to drink two sips of milk, please. Okay? Thank you. Two. Thank you. Okay. okay. Sorry. Saturday morning. Um, but this mm -hmm. is something that works well for us. And we heard Jordan talk a lot about if you are a serious business builder and if this is something that you're wanting to do, um, you, you should have goals. If you haven't gotten to the point of making goals yet, that will completely change your business only because it kind of shows you where the finish line is for you. It shows you where the finish line is for you. And then you can kind of track that. We like to um, do these little boxes that we shade in as we reach um, certain benchmarks on those goals. Um, we do have a 3,000 PGV and then, well, Jordan was talking about five or more retail sales. Um, this all on the left side relates to our pay period goals or overall business goals for the time. Um, it kind of is a visual of what it would take to make the leadership team or pin reach their goals. So that's kind of why we structure our goals the way we do. Um, a few months ago, our goal was 1,000 PTV. So it's all in line with what you're wanting to accomplish with your business. And then um, we just use probably marks for spark samples um, just because 28 little boxes would be a lot to color in. Um, but our spark sample goal used to be five boxes when we only had a short amount of discretionary time when I was working full time. So that's totally up to you and um, your leader and all of us can help you kind of talk about that, what you're wanting to accomplish, and then um, what goals would help you accomplish that. So that's just kind of what we do. And um, as we have transitioned to a more full-time aftercare business, one of the things that was important to me was kind of figuring out how to structure my day, which I actually wish I had done before um, I came home, just because I could have done it just in shorter amount of time. You know, you heard Ashley talk about the success system, and a lot of times when you're starting out, you kind of look at that as a buffet, where really, I don't feel like it's a buffet. You do it all, it's just as a matter of how much you do it the number of one-on-ones you do is going to be more if you're working on big care from a full-time standpoint. The number of one-on-ones that you're going to do if you have a full-time 50-hour-a-week job is going to be less. So um, you always do those things. We all do the same things. It's just a matter of how often or how many we do them. Um, so when I, I wish I'd structured my day a little bit more like this earlier, but we have time. Um, I start my day every morning with some personal growth, which I know we're going to talk about in a little bit later. I know we're going to talk about that, and I'm super excited about that training. That's going to be awesome. Um, but that's just one of the things that I start just to get my mind right and know what I'm going to be doing for the day. That's the most important for me. And then the training. Um, and usually that's going to be too early for most of the people I'm going to be connecting with that day anyway. Um, so it's a perfect time to do that. And then I move on with the rest of the day with what's on my daily method of operation. But just spent most of time. You definitely um, will get a lot of help on where to spend your time and your advocate business if you're looking at that daily method of operation. Um, but I think that is pretty much it. We kind of structure our um, list of who we're going to talk to. 
based on moving people through the prospect, customer, distributor, and advisors. And just as a little um, side note, we always keep a separate list and a different color of who's in rookie bonus qualification, um, just because we want to make sure that we're helping them get that bonus as, as much as we can um, and reminding them of that, that that opportunity is there for them in those first three pay periods. So we make sure we keep a close eye on that, too. Um, but I think that's about all that I have, Tammy. Thank you so much for letting me do this. Is there anything else that you wanted me to kind of hit on or anything like that? Uh, no. Well, I guess maybe one thing. I loved how you were saying how your goals have grown from a few months ago. And did that just unfold before you? I'm sure the numbers forced you to as your, and then your, as your goals were being defined ongoing. Can you touch on that a little bit, how, how that process has worked for you? I'm sure it's not the same for anybody else. but Right. Yeah, absolutely. And it was um, the first pay period we came, I came home from my full-time job. I kind of kept the goals um, really about what they were. I just increased the spark sampling. And then um, what I found was all the other goals were um, really just not sufficient, which was an awesome problem to have. Um, so after talking to Judson, I just kind of said, you know, our goal from when we first talked was to reach our goals. So we looked at what the requirements would be for that, and then we just said that's going to be our goal every pay period. And it may be, you know, if I'm not feeling well or little Judson's not feeling well or something, life is going to happen, but our goal should be in line with that overall goal now that we have more time to dedicate to advocate. Um, for more of a full-time standpoint. And it, it just kind of gradually happened. Um, I wouldn't, I think that was more of a, um, it was something that we just didn't think about or look into, but I think a lot of you all are incredible leaders and very serious and business-minded that you might see that coming. Um, so I think we always reevaluate our goals at the end of a pay period. And then every 90 days, we're always working a 90-day plan. Um, so at the end of every 90 days, we're always looking back on, okay, what did our daily method of operation look like? Where are the holes that we can do a more specific goal um, and then grow from there? So I, it just is based on how we felt like we performed or didn't and then what life stuff was um, a factor in that too. So it's always a personal thing. But I think always reevaluating your goals, whether you're full time, part time, an hour a day, or five hours a day, I think it's important to have those goals in front of you if you're always working towards them. Awesome, love it. Thank you so much. And I and I loved also the part where you know maybe you're not feeling so good, or or Justin need, or your baby, you know, little Justin needs some extra time. But then just being prepared with your spark in the car, you may be able to hit. Um, share with six different people at a car dealership there for a totally different reason and it kind of balances it way out. You don't have to be advocate obsessed. Remember, advocate is not who we are, it's something we do. But you're aware and people are talking about how tired they are and they need to get in shape, the swim season's coming. And we have a solution and we have our cooler pack. It gives us an option to put some, something in someone's hands. Kevin and I were, were at Cracker Barrel in Calhoun last night and um, got talking to a lady, um, 60 years old, ended up pulling up a chair talking to her, and she pulled her car up to our trunk, and I handed her some information and a spark and him a cappuccino, and I'm going to call her today uh, and see what she thought, just because we have it with us. So that's just the natural flow. It wasn't like, oh, God, i got to talk to someone. It's that you don't have to be freaked out. You're just ready, and you're listening, and you're letting it flow out of you with intention. Thank you, Lainey. That was awesome. All right, now let's wrap up. I am so excited about this. Let me, let me introduce you to my husband, Kevin. Let me tell you what, he did not put this slide together because he probably wouldn't have let me if he had known that I had. Um, because if there's anything that he is, it's um, hardworking, of incredibly high character. He is who he says he is. He, can, uh, he works as hard or harder than anyone else. He has a servant heart. Um, and he, so I've asked, I just asked him to share something, and he, and he told me that he wanted to talk about integrity alongside of character. Um, Kev was able to leave this lineman job. Um, here he is on, on the pole, and I just love that, plus he's just mighty fine to look at as well. Um, 
but he stepped away from that position yesterday, uh, in January of this year, just a few months ago. And actually yesterday we stopped by his former place of work and the guys were just coming over to the fence and I could see, y'all, years of building your character and just being consistent and um, who you are, being who you say you are, being on time. Um, if you can't be there on time, our hour and a half trip yesterday took three hours with some um, construction and accidents on the way. So we just call and let them know that we're on our way and just becoming better a little bit at a time. Um, so I, I just look forward to y'all hearing from Kev's heart and some neat information for you because as we develop us more, then we have more to share from when we're sharing sparks, making calls, training, and all of those things. So I'm going to hand off to Kev. Thanks, baby. Okay, you know, um, this whole thing is about the personal growth right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, anybody, any of you who's been here any length of time knows that Advocare Corporate Space to Richard Wright, and I talk about that a lot, and they encourage us to read. And mostly what I'm going to get this from is the book, uh, Notice of Returns, and this part right here, I believe in this, I always have. My dad instilled that in me years ago, you know, integrity and character. I didn't really know the definition, but I knew, like Tamara said, and, uh, you know, just do what you say you'll do. Be honest with people. Uh, treat them the way you want to be treated. And that's, that's what I do here in all of y'all, Lanny, and Ashley and Jordan, all of you. When I talk to somebody, that my friend's my product, I'm, I'm thinking, what would somebody, if, if they were talking to me, what would hit my heart? What would um, what would impact me? What would let me know? First of all, I like to look people in the eyes a lot when they look me in the eyes when they're talking to me. Not as a, oh, you're a commanding thing, but it's just, it's, I, you can tell. Matter of fact, that's what brought me and Tamara together. She said that very thing we were talking about before. She should not tell a whole lot more about somebody when I look at them face to face and talking on the phone. And I love that. So real quick on this here, uh, this integrity and character, I'm going to get this right out of the notice for returns. And in, in this story, if you've read it, if you haven't, I won't ruin it for you, but this guy is talking to this group of people. He's actually talking about children. But, you know, it applies to everything. Certainly it applies to Advocare's products. Uh, the way we've you know personally seen a corporate treat us, or they treat other people, and they do the same to everybody. Of course, you have to meet people on the different levels they are, but they treat you the very same. Uh, I haven't seen them treat a platinum or a diamond any different. Than I haven't seen them treat a, a silver, if you will. You know, so I'm just going to say this real quick: um, integrity and character are they the same? No, they're not. You know, actually. Uh, integrity, you can have integrity and ha not have any character, really. So, you know, a bank can have integrity, a bridge or a fire escape can have integrity, uh, a person can have integrity too. Of course, you know, that person, uh, integrity is trustworthy, reliable, capable of performing the task for which he was created. You know, notice it says he is capable of performing the task. Okay, the difference is integrity and character is integrity is the character of the heart. Okay, the character, the character is the foundation of trust. So, you know, uh, going right along with what this guy in the store says, he's talking to these people, um, character, character is actively doing what is right. You know, it says without, without the spine to do what is right, you, know, you, you need to speak up. It takes character to speak up rather than to turn away from an injustice that requires character. You can say you could do and you're not doing anything wrong. You can still have integrity but you're you're lacking in character. And I'm saying that like I said, as far as the products goes, uh, we have integrity and character in both of those. Um, absolutely. We know the doctors back all that up and as far as the company, you couldn't find any better leaders. And I said they pour into you. Um, and move right along with this. I've got another little quote here from uh, Dr. Ronald Johnson. He's actually uh, helped develop the Master of Business Leadership, and that's what I'm talking about here for the next just couple of minutes. A uh, leadership program at the William Penn University. That's what he has to say about character and leadership. 
If I only had to select one factor to rely on and evaluate the potential for effective leadership, it would have to be char individual character. It says, don't get me wrong, the leader's goals, plans, and policies, and other factors are important, but I believe without individual, individual character, it is likely one of the best uh, predecessors of a leader's potential for success. So along with that, and, this, and another one here from uh, Reverend Billy Graham, he says, you know, when wealth is lost, nothing's lost. When health is lost, something is lost. But when character is lost, all is lost. So just, uh, I don't know. That just rings true to me, and, it's, and especially in my dealings with uh, our dealings with all of our um, leaders, all of the distributors, I want them to know that what, what I'm telling them is absolutely the truth, and I want to know as far as character that I believe, and I take the products myself. I really do. Uh, I really am a product of the product. And that's important to me. And as far as the income, we don't sway on that, not a dime. You know, matter of fact, we we uh, un, under undersell. I guess you would, if that's the right way to say, undersell and over over produce because I would rather sell them the average. You know, which which is more. It's, it's just real. You know, I don't want to portray something that's uh, not true. I won't. You know, I'd rather I'd rather it be a few dollars less, and I actually we might make a little more. Or we, you know, that whole thing over over deliver. I always always want to over always over deliver to everybody, and I want them to know that. And I want the people that we're happy to come along. I want them to see that in us, and the whole team, you know, and portray that as far as it goes to advocate of this business because absolutely without this business, I wouldn't be where I am right now. Um, financially, I wouldn't be sitting across from Tamara right now. Many a days, that's not happened. And I thought about that many times sitting in the truck. Don't get me wrong. I loved what I did. Um, I loved the guys. It was an incredible character and integrity with a lot of those guys. And it builds lifetime bonds, and that's the same thing that we're after in this company and in this organization. And here, if it wasn't for Advocare, that's that's how I feel about many of you, the, especially the ones that I know and really know. That's exactly how I feel if it didn't have anything to do with Advocare. So that's pretty much all I've got in camera. Okay, wow, solid stuff from a solid man. <laughs> um, so really wonderful training today. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I hope you have been writing like I have to try to keep up with all of this and just take it to heart. As I said earlier, this is not for information. This is to help you get into action, to give you more time, not take more time. At first, yes, alongside you're going to be creative, although we definitely know that if, you, if you're able to turn the TV off m more, that should provide the time that you need to get your business started. So there's some smart exchanges. We don't want you to give up um, things that are the most important to you that you're working for. Um, we want more time, more income to do more with for yourselves, your families, and then way beyond us is the grandest vision of all in making a difference. Um, in impacting other people's lives. So thank you again to uh, Jordan, to Ashley, to Lainey, um, Kev. Uh, great training. Let's go to work. Let's make a difference. And cannot wait to see what happens in the next 30, 60, 90 days and beyond with what you've learned today and in all the other trainings that are available through Advocare. Let us know how we can help you, and we look forward to talking with you again soon.